Hello crafters and welcome to Spring into Sandown online craft show brought to you by From Picture to Page and Beyond Paper Craft Shows. I'm your host, Michelle Brown, creative director from Picture to Page, which is our scrapbooking, mixed media art and paper crafting community. And we're so excited to have you join us for this session. Now, Spring into Sandown has a whole heap of demonstrations and interviews with our very talented retailers. For all the details, head over to our website from picture to page and beyond.com.au where you can see all the sessions we've had over the last couple of days, see who's coming up today. And of course, that is the place to go for all the up-to-date information. And while you're there, make sure you're on our email list so you can see who's coming up and then hopefully we'll be releasing our program for 2022 really soon. Now, whether you're watching us here live on Facebook or a replay on Facebook or YouTube, pop in the comments, just like Florina and Wendy have, say hi. Any questions, pop them there as well. And of course, share us with your crafty friends and give us a like, a thumbs up, and we can see all of that and we feel all that love and connection coming through the internet. So today we are so excited to be springing into sand down with Tracy and Stamping Up. Hi, Tracy. Good morning. How are you? We're going well. Oh, I love those inks that you've got behind you there. <laughs> yes, that's my lovely stamp and storage. I must admit it is a bit addictive. And, you know, I keep building little bits and little towers and adding to it. So it, it just makes my heart sing when I walk in. And that's the first thing I see in my little craft studio. <laughs> yeah, there is something about all the colours lined up. Which is your favourite stamping up colour? Oh gosh, I'm an old olive girl. That was the very first, the very first colour I ever bought, and it's still a go-to favourite for me. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a more of a subtles and regals, and you know, I just love. But old olive would be my go-to colour. Oh, excellent, <laughs> excellent. Well, that'd probably fit well in with that Christmas theme, wouldn't it? It would, but. This little kit that I'm showing you today features just jade as the Christmas green. Okay. Um, it's got a lovely colour palette, Poppy Parade, uh, Bumblebee, <laughs> and Knight of Navy. So, you know, stamping up are, are unique in the minds for having lovely names of their inks. Um, so, uh, and today won't disappoint with all of those lovely colours. Excellent. Yeah. Been and a... have you been it's been a while oh, since sorry, we've caught up been? with you. Yeah, it has yeah. been a while, hasn't it? So what else has been going yeah. on at Stamping Up? Oh, lots of stuff. So, I mean, obviously business is very different as it is for everybody. We're doing a lot more face-to-face. -face. I've uh, not any, sorry, a lot more online. Mm. I've struggled because my business is very face-to-face. -face. Mm. Um, so mm. this whole technology thing is a new thing. It's still a new thing for me and, and still not my favourite platform, but I'm getting the hang of it. <laughs> and uh, and it, it has been nice to reach out to, you know, people virtually um, and doing lots of kits in the mail and those sorts of things. So, and hopefully we're almost at the tail end of this now and we can be out and about again. Yeah, so that'll be great. Right. And like I said, it's not our favourite, but I think it's better than nothing. So we, we can make it work. Of course we can. Of course we can. Absolutely. Excellent. I did a little video last week with my team and my little rescue kitten wandered in and walked across. <laughs> so it's like, well, oh, you can't control this stuff. Uh, too funny. <laughs> Excellent. So, Tracy, what are you showing us today? I am showing you um, a, a new kit. It's called Love Santa. Um, and it's a beautiful tag kit, but what I've done is I'm, I've made the tags, but I'm also showing you how to make some cards using the same elements. Oh, um, and this year Stamping Up created a whole range of kits for stampers and non-stampers. So I'll talk a little bit about those in the intro. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, kits are great for so many, whether you're avid crafter or just a casual crafter oh. um, and or to take on holiday all of those things yeah I think we've so, certainly um, seen the yeah. theme around kits and tags this this year and I do agree there's as a crafter as soon as you see a kit I mean your heart just stops doesn't it <laughs> <laughs> excellent well we'll let you get your camera ready and we'll okay. jump into it Thank you. Okay, like I said, who doesn't love a good kit, whether it's about Christmas time or whether it's some other time? So hello to Elizabeth. Hi, Val. Hi, Marion. So lovely to have you joining us, Deb and Helen. And I really do love how, you know, Stamping Up puts the thought into having kits so that it all works together and then we can turn those tags 
and use them as tags or we can turn them into cards or embellishments on our scrapbooking. There's just so many different options. Well, it looks like Tracy is ready. So take it away, Tracy. Thank you, Michelle. Thank you. So first of all, I'll just show you this is our new, well, it's not a new catalogue now. It actually came out in August, but it is our sort of holiday Christmas um, offering. But if you open the very front page, then we can see here, this is the Love Santa Kit, and it shows you all the different pieces that you get. So in this set, you actually get stamps as well. Um, and with the kit range that Stamping Up are offering, some of the kits are, there's no stamps and no, um, you know, no block, no ink. So in this kit, you get everything. You get the ink, you get the block, you get the stamps and everything you need. Um, and what's great about that is, is that you can use the stamp and the ink and the blocks on other projects. So that's really great. Um, so this is the address for our kits because there's actually no catalogue. Okay. So, so there is a separate link um, for the kits because they keep adding kits to the suite. Um, and there's birthday kits, there's get well kits, and there's kits for kids' birthday parties and all sorts of lovely things. But Christmas is a – we're big Christmas – uh, junkies in our house, can I say? So Christmas is a big thing. So that's what I'm showing you today. All right. So this is this is the the kit. So let me just show you how it comes. It comes in this beautiful box. It comes in a box. Yay! <laughs> and who doesn't love a box? And you can repackage this. You know, you could put a label on this and have it as a gift box under the tree because it's just got sort of spots and stripes so you know really it's it's great for for gift uh, for gift giving and then inside we have our color whoops step-by-step -step instructions oh excellent so these are the kits and these are really easy there's no words <laughs> uh, they've gone They're the just, ikea method lovely yeah they've gone the ikea method just the pictures of how you build the kits um so really nice and easy and it also tells you um, you know, where, you know, how much sort of 12 inches of twine and all of those sorts of things. So it's really, really self-explanatory. And that's what I mean. They're great for any type of crafter. On the back page, it gives you a little overview of what should be in the kit. Mm -hmm. And it also gives us a little um, list of the coordinating colours. Oh, that's handy. Yeah, well, it is because if you are an avid Stamping Up fan, you'll probably have all of these colours. So this is the colour family. So Bumblebee, Just Jade, Night of Navy and Poppy Parade. So really lovely. The thing that I loved about this kit when I saw it is it's actually quite, it's sort of got Aussie colours in it. It's not all sort of red and green. Mm. It's got pinks and, you know, and the yellow. So it sort of appeals a little bit to our bright summer Christmas, which I thought was lovely. Yeah, it gets a bit frustrating um, so, when everything's full of snowflakes and light blues and yes. silvers. It's like it's not winter here. <laughs> yeah, and that's what I loved about this. So the stamps come in just a little clear package. You get everything you need, dimensionals, glue dots, um, sequins, oh, twine, ink, and your beautiful stamping up block, which are just beautiful quality. Oh, I wish we could um, all feel that. It feels like it's got very smooth yeah, edges. It's really smooth edges. They give you two extra stamping sheets, so in case you do make a mistake. But really, it's just white card, mm -hmm. so you could always use just white card as well. Um, and then these are the piece de resistance. <laughs> so these are the lovely little, um, you know, tag pieces. And these just pop out. So really easy. Just really lovely. Very bright and cheerful. Um, and then so you've got. You get to make three of each tag. Mm -hmm. I absolutely am in love with this car. <laughs> I think we've car. all had Christmas holidays like that, haven't we? <laughs> uh, I want to get in the car and go away somewhere, but I just love that car. Um, and then there's some bumblebee um, tags. So these, so you can stamp on these. And I find it easier to stamp on them when they're in the sheet uh -huh. so that they're not as not as little and fiddly. Um, so do all your stamping at once, and I think that's a little bit easier. And then you've got some beautiful leaf elements um, that are just in the Just Jade. That so they is just a lovely shade out. of green, isn't it? 
yeah just jade is lovely and again it's that lighter green for christmas mm. um and then some little banner tags and you've even got a little card at the bottom here that you can use as your stamping block as your you know your stampin mm. uh, pierce mat so really great stuff so let me pop all that aside now i want to show you the tags first mm -hmm. that i've made so these are the tags actually in their glory mm -hmm. so the santa they're really lovely quality and lots of room for you to write your greeting on the back and in the stamp set there is a to and a from oh, so you could if you wanted to go that little bit extra and stamp the back and then you can write your greeting um so this is the lovely uh, sort of ferny one this fern stamp um let me just pop it on my block here this fern stamp is just gorgeous oh, very versatile yeah you'll be able to use that for all sorts of things um so that's lovely and then we've got the tree which is cute and you can see all the sequins on there mm -hmm. you get heaps of sequins <laughs> and heaps of twine so that you, there's lots of leftover pieces but yeah, this is absolutely my favourite. <laughs> now, I want to show you what I added to the kit mm -hmm. out of my own stash that I um, used then to make the cards. So basically, I added some card bases. Mm -hmm. I added um, some embossed panels. So just this is our lovely new embossing folder. It's called um, Star crossed so we've got stars i don't know if you can yes, see we that can well just see. actually i'm just going to pop my i'm going to pop my underbench lighting on i didn't do that <laughs> just do that might be a little bit better yeah, actually we can there the we embossing's go. coming up quite well so yeah we can see that yeah so it's just beautiful so that's actually the packaging mm -hmm. um so that's what i did and then of course some bling some extra just our lovely rhinestones so that's all i added to the extra elements mm -hmm. that to make the cards. And how are the cards available? Are those packs together or you buy the colours separately? No, I have well you can buy um you can buy the colour separately, but I have a little special for our uh, ladies that are watching. So we'll go through that at the end okay. where they can get some of this card. Um, but I, first of all, I want to show you my simple pop-up card because pop-up cards are always fun. Mm -hmm. So this is just half of an A4 mm -hmm. cut in portrait style and folded. Mm -hmm. And then all you're going to do is just fold back onto itself. You could score it if you wanted to. Um, I'll just get my bone folder and just give that a really good I don't tend to score Burn. things and then I'm always annoyed that I didn't. So <laughs> <laughs> so this is just a standard Z fold. You've all seen those cards where you put mm -hmm. an image and whatever. But if you flip it the other way, you can have it be a pop-up card. Oh, okay, like an easel card, yeah. Like an easel. So what you would do is you'd get I always pop an insert in my cards mm -hmm. and um, I've got a little greeting here from this lovely stamp set. Actually, that is a, one of the extra little elements that I added. This is on page 29 of the Christmas catalogue mm -hmm. and it is just lovely. Like it's got lovely fonts, but it's got cutie pie, sort of more, you know, um, whimsical text and and greetings but it's also got lovely vintage you know it's mm. the most wonderful time of the year and so that's a love i think that's actually one of the hidden gems in the christmas catalog yeah. um so let me just turn that over and i'll just pop some dimensionals on the back you do need dimensionals in order to create your easel card mm -hmm. because you need something for that flap to stand up against so let me just take these off and you need to pop it sort of a little bit lower than you might have normally. So almost like two thirds of the way down, mm -hmm. just so it's not quite centered. It's just that little bit lower. And then with your stamp and seal, mm -hmm. just run a couple of little pieces or your tape or whatever adhesive you choose to use. And then you're just going to pop that into your card base. Mm -hmm. And then if you flip that mm -hmm. <laughs> that <laughs> should stay open <laughs> oh dear there we go Excellent. so it's like, it's like oh, 
but it doesn't want to for some reason. But it's like a little easel card. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's that's a really nice fun fold and sort of has a little bit of a wow factor. And then you could actually pop your tag on the bit that sits up and it would sit ah, up. Oh, sorry, all, am I spoiling it? I'm just always all, full of good ideas. Ah, you're all over it. So that's exactly what we've mm -hmm. done here. Oh, you've actually put the embossed right. Excellent. Yeah, so I've made mm -hmm. it. So that white, I've added a white piece mm -hmm. and I've just embossed it. Yeah. And then I've actually cut around the top of the tag mm -hmm. and popped that in on the card. Yeah. And in the stamp set, you get this lovely little present. Mm -hmm. So I just stamp that in, you know, each colour other than the green and then cut, just hand cut them out because mm -hmm. they're square so they're nice mm -hmm. and easy. And then I just added all the bling, like the little rhinestones and so on. And this Merry Christmas is from the kit as well right. so the stamps in the kit are really lovely yeah. um, and I'm sure you've got lots of you know everybody's got a Christmas greeting um, but you could definitely use these in the center of the card as well yeah. and what a great idea um, and, so if someone wants to like hang it up with their cards you can hang it over but then you can have it standing up on the mantelpiece as well ab absolutely or if you're giving a gift to somebody with you know you, the tag and the card mm. match mm. So that lovely sort of, you know, gift tag and card combination is really nice. So I'll show you the other cards. Um, so this is that lovely fern. Mm -hmm. And I've just used, again, that's from that lovely Holly Jolly Wishes and so is this. Um, and I've used the contour dies out of the colour and contour bundle just to get this lovely scallop. And I've left this one, as you can tell, right. with a tag. Mm -hmm. Now, we don't have any Poppy Parade ribbon or any Knight of Navy ribbon in our suite this year, but you can create any colour ribbon you'd like with our lovely seam binding, which is our lovely white seam oh, binding. Okay. And then you get one of our stamp and blends. Mm -hmm. So these are our alcohol markers. So it needs to be an alcohol marker. Mm -hmm. So this is my night, my dark night of navy. And it's got a what we call a oh, if I can get the lid off. We can call it's got a bullet end. Mm -hmm. And it's also got a paintbrush end. Ah. And with the paintbrush end, let me just get a little bit of scrap paper and I'll just pop that under there. You just ah, colour it in. Colour, colour the ribbon. Now, you can always tell when this is dry right. because it, it it goes warm. So it's cold now, oh, which okay. means it's wet. But once it's dried, it will be warm. Okay. Cold, it's dry. And do you just do one side so or do you do both you sides? Yeah. You no, just... you don't. Only one side. Right. Oh, wow. So you can, with a roll of seam binding, you can create any colour that you would like. Mm. So I did that here with the red. So I added a little bit of Poppy Parade just to tie the red. That beautiful fern as well. Mm -hmm. um, and I'll be stamping that on the envelopes. Right. And so that um, was the navy, just, was it, you know, rather than the black? Yeah, that's navy. Right. Yeah, not black. Does it look black? It, it looks very dark. It's a bit hard to tell. Tell, yeah. No, it's definitely it's definitely the um, Knight of Navy. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And, again, you know, that's really, I mean, that is probably, as you say, with blues and silvers, you know, when, with the snowflakes and things. Mm. Um, this is my car. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait to get in the car. Um, so this is the seam binding that I cut that I've just showed you that mm -hmm. I coloured in Knight of Navy. And what I did with the tag, just so you can see, so if I pop the tag out of its little uh, template mm -hmm. and then just get my paper snips, all I did was gently just cut around the top and just smooth out those edges. Oh, it makes them so versatile. Yeah, so then it's no longer a tag. It's an element for the front of a card. But, you know, you could add a little bit of twine in it and just 
add it to the front of a card as well. Excellent. Now, Um, Tracy, Marilyn was just asking how much is the roll of seam binding? Oh, I think it's 12.25. Oh, wow. That's so versatile. And and there's nine metres on there. (laughs) So, you know, when you think you only need sort of six inches or, you know, for a ribbon, (laughs) for a bow or something, I mean, you'll have it for ages. So, yes, 12.25. so I've just added some rhinestones. The special delivery is out of the kit. So that's one of the stamps in the kit. And I've just added the little holly jolly on there as well. And then the last one I made, I was all set to make another card. And then I thought, this card's sort of, this stamps is really cute and great for kids. You know, so I'm a little gift wallet. Oh, what a great so idea. So this is a little bit of a smaller card. Yeah, it's one of our note cards. Um, And I pretty much left him as he was. Again, I put special delivery. And then I've put the love Santa in here, which is out of the kit. And then I've just got a little gift card in there for village. Or you could put cash in there Mm -hmm. or, you know, write a little note. Um, And that's just a little bit of um, bumblebee designer paper just to tie in with the buckle of his belt. And I just use the scrap. So you'll see that that's the reverse of the scallop. Oh, okay. Oh, great idea. As the pocket. Yeah. And you just run your tape or your adhesive very close to the edges because mm. you need to be able to slide your uh, whatever it is in there without it getting stuck. And then just add a little bit of Poppy Parade card and this little um, Love Santa dimensional. So, yeah. So they're, they're the fun. They're the fun cards. Lovely kit. I think something up I have done really, really well this year. Um, and as I say, there's lots of other kits. So if if the kits are something that you know you're drawn to, mm-hmm. but even if you know if you've got grandchildren or children, they would love to sit one night and get them off the telly and make some Christmas tags. Yeah. You know, like the tags are really f- straightforward. Um, they're not going to muck up all your craft supplies because you're just sort of following the, you know, we'll get a bit precious, don't we? Go, oh, oh, we do, don't we? Yeah, they can't have that. But, you know, it's just sort of such a lovely, uh, lovely set. But I do have some special. So um, somebody asked about um, the card, mm-hmm. the coloured card. Yep. So if you're, so this kit is $33. Uh-huh, 33 Okay, and with, that's with, with the tags and 30, the stamp set. Mm-hmm. Yep, and the ink and the block and the adhesives, the sequins, absolutely everything is in the box. It's $33. And there are other kits. They're just elements that you glue together and all the glues in the kit, and they're $21. Mm -hmm. Oh, Tracy, you're breaking up a bit there. Could you just tell us about that second kit again, please? Yeah, sorry. So with the other kits, they're $21 mm-hmm. and they just have elements in it that you put together. Right. So there's no stamps, there's no ink. Right. Everything's done for you. You're basically just adding them together. Yeah, assembling them. Excellent. So, assembling them, yes. So what I thought I'd do is I'd put a little special together for our lovely crafting picture to page um community and so yeah you're welcome and so I've got if somebody orders a kit Mm -hmm. I will send them one of each of the card bases Mm -hmm. from me of course (laughs) and four matching envelopes excellent if if they buy two kits Mm -hmm. they'll get six card bases with six envelopes Mm -hmm. And six embossed panels. Excellent. And if they buy three kits, <laughs> they will get a packet of rhinestones as well. Oh, well, and those rhinestones are self-adhesive, aren't they? You just stick They're them self-adhesive, yep. yep. There's there's 100 rhinestones uh, in three different sizes, um, and they just make add a little bit of bling. They so-, so let me just tell you how delivery works okay. with stamping up. Mm-hmm. So delivery is a flat $5.95 or 5% of the order, whichever is greater. So you could order three kits Mm -hmm. 
for the flat rate of $5.95 mm-hmm. delivered to your home. Yep. Um, and I'm happy to help you with the order. So you can either email me, telephone me mm-hmm. or message me. I can help you with the order, get it delivered to you. You can also shop on my store. Um, and then what I'll do is I will be posting these separately to you because these need to come from me. Mm-hmm. So they won't arrive with your kits because the kits will come from the warehouse Mm -hmm. and I will send you the extra elements. Oh, excellent. And how have you found stamping up with their delivery? Have they been pretty good this year? Yeah, look, absolutely. That's a good question, Michelle. They did have a a, a few delays, particularly when New South Wales were in that, you know, they'd been into lockdown about a a month. Right. They really struggled with getting staff, um, getting stuff from the dock and all those sorts of things. But I think that's all pretty much ironed out. We are still in remote places, country Victoria and things. Like I sent two of these kits up to um, the Dandenongs and they took, you know, 10 days to come rather than a normal week. Right. Um, but, you know, so – and but they're still arriving, which is the main thing. Yes, those remote Dandenong communities are so hard to get to, aren't they? <laughs> Well, they're hard to get to anyway, but let alone, uh, you know, when you're trying to uh, get things quickly. But most most, most delays I've not, you know, I've really not had a, a huge problem with oh, that. That's good. But, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed that. Um, and uh, I don't know, are we flicking yes, back? Yes, let's do that. Okay. Let's Excellent. Do- well, what a fantastic offer. Like I said, there's just something about a kit and to have – whether you're a stamper or not, you can still get a kit, make some gorgeous cards or tags and then not have to do the stamping or you can get that. It's got the block, it's got the ink, it's got the stamps and Tracy's offer of sending those card bases just makes it such an easy way to have those all ready to go. And it is so nice sometimes just to sit down, have it all there. For those of you that do a lot of stamping up and have their products, you've got the matching cards ready to go and it is just such a lovely way of um, just sitting down with, with even family and friends and not having to put a lot of thought to it but again that doesn't you know discredit the effort you put in it's still something that's handmade and you can make it your own as much as possible so it looks like Tracy is back so Tracy thank you so much for sharing those kits with us today you're welcome thanks for inviting me and congratulations on a great event Michelle you do a great job and oh, thanks. you're wonderful to work with you're really easy you make everything easy for us so Very, very grateful from this end. Thank you. Uh, Thank you. Now, where is the best place for people to get in touch with you? Um, Well, my my email address. Mm -hmm. So they can email me at stamping Mm -hmm. with a G on the end Mm -hmm. at Tracy Penn, no E in Tracy, Mm -hmm. dot com dot AU. Um, They can also message me through my Facebook page, which is just Tracy Penn Independent Stamping Up Demonstrator. Yep, and we've linked the Stamping Up page with this video. Right. Thank you. Well, that'd be great. So you can send me a private message and then we can liaise from there. Um, And any questions, if people have just got questions, I'm happy to answer questions as well. And do you know, are there any um, sort of time concerns where the kits will no longer be available or could they possibly run out or? Yeah, look, that's a little bit tricky and that is a good question. Um, I would just recommend that if you're after a couple of them, you know, I'd get that order in as quickly as possible. I think we'd have a little bit of time during October and maybe halfway into November. But I think as the panic of Christmas, um, you know, hits, people may tend to order them and they may sell out. But um, that's a little bit hard to predict. Especially in Victoria, by the time the shop's open, we're not going to have a lot of time for shopping. (laughs) Not a lot of time for anything, and I think everybody will find themselves super busy. Um, so, you know, all those people that have been organised and trying to get ahead of the curve, good on you. <laughs> yeah, excellent. Well, Tracy, thank you so much for joining us today and bringing stamping up to the online craft show. Oh, thank you again, Michelle. Take care. We'll, we'll see you soon. See you soon. Excellent. So please go and check out Tracy's Facebook page it's here the link's not far from here and have a look at all the wonderful stamping up things and like I said I think it's just so nice to have something that gives us permission to play that uses beautiful colors and like Tracy said I think that kit does help us take away from some of that you know northern hemisphere winter things it's got beautiful warm colors and that green sort of almost a salt bush green so I think it does lend itself perfectly to Australian t- t- um, conditions and it is so lovely to have those tags that you can easily turn into cards and those little easel cards that Tracy showed us are such a fun way so please have a try and of course share those creations on our papercraft posse group 
um, or hashtag spring into sand down and we will make sure that we follow up and see what you've done. So thank you so much for joining us for this session. We look forward to seeing you again soon and we hope you have a crafty day.